Get something in the cover. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Ravens. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kickoff for the ball game, return for a touchdown. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So now the Ravens getting ready for their first go on offense. And they're let out by the number one overall pick back in the 2001 draft. He's been around a while. The lefty, Michael Vick. They'll start by running the option to the right. And I'll guarantee that his goal is to just tamp things down a little bit, pump the brakes, so to speak, grind out a few first downs, let his team get settled, because giving up a kickoff return for a touchdown the opening play of the game, that's going to rattle people just a little bit. Vic on second down. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Then he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. So here are the Ravens with great field position to start out. And they'll be led out by a four-time Super Bowl champion elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame back in the year 2000. This is Joe Montana. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Marshall Falk with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Here's the kick unit now for the Ravens as they'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen. They need for it to happen now. That throw by Vic, incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Well, he cannot go away. Down goes Vic. Jerry with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And this is what you've got to do against 
against a quarterback like him, you've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And take it right on the 30. Breaks through the contact. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. It's a second down run with Sanders. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. Now a give inside for Fall. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been... They go play action with Montana. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter. And look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. So that drive span five plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. To throw, Vic. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Back to throw. Vic. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He got 29 yards that time. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end. And that play going nowhere. It's a loss of a yard. And it's third down. 
And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This now a third and four. It'll be Vic once more. And that is incomplete. Not what I see so far out of this defense because they've been shooting the best coverages on third down. So far, only about one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Now Vic on fourth down. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked by Ted Hendricks. And the Ravens are going to get it back here just past the 35. Parker, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And now here come the Ravens. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing to the break, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Defense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Looked like they picked a heck of a time to run the counter. And we've been saying that in this great game of football probably since we started playing. Anytime you get guys thinking you're going to go one way and you hit back the opposite side, oh, it's a great chance it can turn into the type of play we just saw there, a big gainer. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Montana to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Marshall Falk on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Ravens continue to pull away here in this first half. You get in a second-and-long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Carlson now to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 nothing now. The drive there only spanning three plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill right through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to spend a few completions together, where she ends up, and then make that ball back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Gronkowski's got it on the crossing round. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Vic on third and two. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Well, based on what we've seen so far, the game call is an update anymore because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. 
And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. They'll throw now on the final play. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Second and ten. Play fake. Now here's Montana. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. Oh, and now Vic throwing another interception. Picked off by Ty Law. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half that's carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there. And there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And they had the big halftime lead. Their defense just helped them out further by forcing the turnover. So things are starting to look pretty rosy. They certainly are, but they've got to be careful about getting complacent, though. They still need to go out and run their offense efficiently. 104 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. This is fall. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run on third down with Falk. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. John Harbaugh going to roll the dice. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. On the give, here's Falk. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. They're going to hurry back to the line now. It's a pickup of six. Second On second four. down, Montana. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Ted Hendricks. And the Ravens are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game. But that's something right there, still in the third quarter. <laughs> it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day, but they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. 
And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First down, Ravens. Another run here with Sanders. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. And Vick's throw there incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three quarters in the books. Back now in Baltimore. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Open man is Duvernay. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Here's Vic. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he's taken down inside the 30. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. First down, Ravens. Vic to the air again. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now a second down throw for Vic. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The only one at that time of the safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. From the gun, Vic. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Ty Law. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. He's going to launch this thing way downfield, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by nine-time pro bowler and Reed, and the Ravens are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick or something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. So here's Vic following the interception. And his throw here is incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. That throw by Vic, incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five yard line, it's a sack. Ray Lewis came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, it's obvious, but I can't help but say it here. It's never a good day when the opposing defense has more sacks than you have points. The win seems likely, but this defense is still playing for something here. They see that zero on the scoreboard, and they don't want that to change. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Throwing, Vic. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, this one results in a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Take it in at the 22. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here's second and ten. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that one drops to the ground, incomplete. Clock stops here, just inside of 20 seconds, 19 left. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Play action, it's Montana. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They will look to throw. Montana. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. Now, I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. This has been Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Join the discussion on Twitter at EA Sports underscore M-U-T.